All right, here we go. Uh, what is the solution of the inequality one fifth times the quantity four x plus ten is less than seven fifth x plus five? Subtract five. I'm, what? I'm doing it right now. You yes, sir. Is it four, four over five plus two is less than, no, is greater than seven, seven over five? Yes, sir. And, and what he's saying is the first thing we got to attack what? Yeah, is what's inside the parentheses be a distributive property. So we take one fifth and multiply it times four. So that means one over five times Four over one x plus one over five times ten over one is less than seven over five x plus five. Now we go and multiply just like we do with any other fraction. We're gonna have five over four x plus two. Okay, 5 divided into 10 gives you 2 is less than 7 over 5x plus 5. Be careful here and make sure you just put the... We did it different. Oh. What do you mean? We did it differently. Oh, yesterday I did it differently? Yeah, we did it differently. Well, that's fine. As long as we get the right answer, and regardless of how good how we do it. Okay? So it, it, it don't matter. There's more than one way to solve these problems. I know sometimes we think that just is one way. It's not. It's more than one way. This is like 635. You know what I'm saying? You can go anywhere. Okay. So now, if we're looking at this, what do we do? I'm gonna move my five four of x over here. Okay. So I'm gonna subtract. Oh, you know what I'm doing wrong? I have this is 5 over 4. So here's where, here's where the wrong come from right here. That should be that should be 4 over 5. All right, this should be, let's fix that. This should be 4 over 5x plus 2. That's what that should be. Now we straight. Okay, I just twisted that up. Didn't mean to. So now... Let's take, still subtract this from this side. That's going to give me 2 is less than, and then 4 from 7 is 3 over 5x plus 5. Okay, are we straight? We straight around? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to subtract 5 from this side and put it over here, right? So if I subtract 5, I'm going to get a negative 3 is less than 3 over 5x. I got to solve for x, and the way I do that is, I'm going to go up here so we can make sure that we, I'll take the inverse of 3 over 5, or the reciprocal of 3 over 5 actually, and multiply it by both numbers. When you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So here, I will take a negative 3 times 5 over 3, right? It's less than, then I will take 3 over 5x and multiply that times 5 over 3. Now, if you want to go through this long, drawn-out math, math and say, 3 times 5, negative 5 will give us, uh, a negative 3 times 5 will give us a negative 15 over 3 is less than, and then 5 times 3 is 15, and 3 times 5 is 15x, and we know that that's going to equal to 1, which is just 1x. And here, if we divide, we'll get 5 because we have a negative. Okay, so we could use this property and just make this x is less. No, we don't switch the sign because no, we didn't multiply. No, yeah, over the other way. Yeah, I'm just going to symmetrically change them around. Yeah, okay. All right, minus five, which should be answer C. Yes, ma'am. Question. I don't want to 
Yes. You do you want to show? Which which one says X is greater than five? B. All right, negative five. I'm sorry. So it would be B. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> 